Um, so here's what I mean by, if you like, the slow way in which the uh, laser engraver does its thing. You'll see a horizontal and vertical green lines which are moving, if you like, back and forth um, in a raster style. So this little pattern here is pretty small and so far it's been at it for just over half an hour and it's likely to be going for I would say at least another half an hour if not more uh, before it gets to the top here. Um, so um, having looked around uh, there is one uh, uh, instance of a guy who has upgraded this controller to Gerbil 1.1 but it seems a little bit of a, uh, yeah, you really need to know what you're doing and get down into it and have various other pieces of kit to be able to do it. Um, so I decided to just get a different controller. So I'm gonna, I've ordered up a controller which has a proper, if you like, um, Arduino in it. Um, and so I'll be able to use all the standard Arduino software to do whatever I need to do. And hopefully uh, that will then let me use different laser software um, that will speed this thing up and do it more effectively. Um, so uh, waiting for that to come in the mail. There we go. One hour and two minutes and a bit. It's all very pretty. We just need it to be quicker. So the new controller arrived um, and it comes with the board all built, some uh, acrylic protective plates, cables and a little bag full of screws and nuts and bolts. Uh, unfortunately one of these uh, acrylic plates didn't survive the shipping, uh, the crack didn't go all the way so it didn't actually break into pieces so we've super glued it up and uh, mounted it. The other slight little uh, concern is the threaded portion of uh, of these studs is quite short so it doesn't really grip properly the nut on the other side so if it just barely grips one or two threads the stud doesn't come all the way through the nut so I've put some uh, Loctite on there and hopefully that'll, uh, that'll work so here is the new uh, controller fitted and I've just done a mock-up to do a functional test. I'll clean up all the rat's nest of wires uh, once I'm happy with it. Uh, so far it's looking good. Uh, the one thing I didn't spot, I'll confess, when I selected this controller is the original one. The, uh, if you like, the nano clone part is powered by the USB. But the stepper motors and all that are powered with a 24 volt power supply which come with the kit. Except the laser runs on 12 volts so it has that little itty bitty board over here to step the 24 down to 12. Um, this controller, everything just runs on 12 volts. Well, so the nano runs on USB obviously, but the rest runs on 12. Um, and so I wasn't sure if that was gonna work, but it looks good. Um, the one thing I, another YouTuber had realized with this one is that the original one, the fan wiring for the moat, for the fan on top of the laser unit, uh, had the polarity reversed over here, so I had to flip the wires over. And so fortunately I was saved that headache, thanks to somebody else. Um, so I did a very small, this is, uh, a software called Laser Gerbil, which is one of the ones I was trying to use. And before, if I loaded this um, with the previous controller, it would just turn the laser on full tilt <laughs> the minute I connected it. So, uh, this is also running Gerbil 1.1, uh, which I successfully managed to flash onto this uh, new interface. So, I'm very happy with that major achievement. Um, and so I created just a very small little test here to uh, see if we print and uh, it's sort of yes and no <laughs> it printed it um, 
and it did it very quickly so it was obviously uh, not doing a raster anymore but as you can see uh, I haven't found a way of selecting the laser intensity and here it's way too uh, intense and also it's a uh, mirror imaged so I have to uh, I think invert the uh, x-axis uh, drive uh, which I shall do so this is encouraging um, it means I guess that I am restricted to just doing laser work with this which is fine that's really all I wanted it for uh, because uh, the spindle motor that comes with this I'm pretty sure runs on 24 volts and I no longer have 24 volts with this uh, particular controller but that's cool so I think I'll tidy it up at this point uh, and then I will do some um, some more work on figuring out how to make sure I get it printing the right way around and uh, figure out how to dim the laser and uh, yeah I'm pretty happy at this stage so um, I think uh, the other thing I will do, if anybody's interested um, I did from a wiki article figure out how to reflash the gerbil on this uh, nano um, and uh, it, it took a little bit of figuring out A because I'm not used to it um, and B because the documentation was for the previous version of Gerbil not the one I was using and so lots of folder names and things changed if anybody's interested I can do a bit of a write up on that or something okay uh, that's it for the minute uh, more to come when I have all the final thing tweaked up and I'm happy with the settings and have this thing working the way I want